Thank you, Steve. Well, now we want to show you around a kitchen that has truly been designed with everyone in mind. That's right. It's being dubbed Atlantic Canada's first universal kitchen. CTV's Nick Moore tells us now, this kind of kitchen is addressing a particular issue of concern right here in our region. It appears to be your standard kitchen, but look a little closer. So the upper side of this cabinet, you'll see another mechanism that allows you to gain access. Jared Dooley is the co-owner of Kitchen Fashions, the makers of Atlantic Canada's very first universal kitchen. Features have been designed to work for both disabled and non-disabled people. Counters at a lower level, more toe kick space as well as space under the stove and sink allowing room for wheelchairs and walkers, cupboards that can be pulled down for easier access, mirrors that bring more visibility to cooking on a stove, and oven doors that swing open in a much safer way. That allows you to be able to gain access without having to reach over top of a, uh, a, hot, uh, a hot oven door. The inspiration for this kitchen came from two years of consultations. We worked hand in hand with uh, the extramural program uh, at Horizon Health, uh, Stan Cassidy Center, uh, worked with some private occupational therapists. Dooley and, says uh, there's a growing demand for kitchens in the 21st century to have at least some of these features. It's uh, ultimately an area of the business that we uh, thought worked hand in hand with what we do. Uh, every day and uh, it certainly works. The Maritimes has some of the oldest population demographics in the country and it's growing, so too is concern about keeping people independent longer in their own homes. We know that over 90,000 New Brunswickers have a mobility disability, so we need innovation to help individuals stay at home longer. There is also a growing economic argument for making homes more accessible. There's a lot of homes that are split level homes now that people are having a hard time selling because seniors are looking from homes and it, it doesn't work well for them. So this makes economic sense, social sense, and, and good health sense. We basically want to help people stay in their home uh, as long as they possibly can, be as comfortable as they possibly can throughout the whole, whole entire process. A comfortable kitchen to grow old with. Nick Moore, CTV News, Fredericton.